This is Mike Aylesworth. I'm doing the narration for the pendulum experiment. My partner is Megan Shao, who has a terrible cold and did an enormous amount of work on this project. We constructed three pendula with lengths of 20, 40, and 80 centimeters. We measured the length of each pendulum by laying down a yardstick and eyeballing the length of the string. Um, more specifically, we had tied the string to a ball bearing that was taped to the head of a nail that was bent, and we measured from the center of mass of that ball bearing uh, to the appropriate length. The measurement of period, which is what this is, what this first slide is about, um, is calculated. It's first of all, it's based on the length only of the of each ball bearing um, or of each pendulum, and not at all relating to the angle. Uh, we did take measurements at 10 and 20 degrees. You can see that data is identical. Uh, you can also see that our experimental error ranged from 6.7 to 12.6 and we think that is well the only thing that can really affect this is the length of the uh, pendulum so it was error in how uh, we were measuring that so we calculated um, we wanted to calculate gravity based on our uh, data that we got from our experiment. Even with our calculated errors, we uh, determined that gravity was somewhere between 11.3 and 12.8, knowing that gravity as uh, 9.81 is uh, <laughs> uh, not great. <laughs> so uh, again, those those errors are um, plaguing this this data. That's called out more specifically here. We looked at the what the experimental error and the, the exper experimental error was based on what the book value of gravity was, as well as what the specific gravity of where we conducted the experiment was. In both cases, those are so close it really made very little difference. Nine point seven nine nine is the value we used for. Um, Capitol Hill on Seattle, um, in Seattle, and that's <laughs> that's where we conducted the experiment. The experimental gravity uh, again is 11.3 to 12.8. 12.8 being a 30.6 percent um, offage. The three part two of uh, our project here is that we want to find the um, fundamental frequencies. We're given a T naught um, of fifteen point seven five degrees uh, or seconds rather. That value is. Uh, You'll see that again uh, in the next slide. It's, it, we actually measure, observed it to be uh, 15.87. So what we're doing here is we're taking three pendula, we're trying to determine um, at what point, given different lengths, the pendula will be in sync. In sync. The, being able to produce that data turned out to be a bit of a problem. Um, we have the data as you, as you can see on the screen. Um, our, de our determined um, hertz is uh, uh, 0 0.0635. The key element of this experiment was trying to make sure that each of the three pendula released at the same time. That didn't go very well. We didn't have the right tools particularly and we didn't really use the the best practices. 
The tools we did use are, as you can see, the box tops and trying to release the three pendula simultaneously using the box tops um, was our approach, um, both in the release as well as the uh, inconsistent angle, which is patently obvious in this video. Uh, the box tops led to kind of problems. The axes are, or excuse me, the planes uh, were also not um, uh, consistent between the pendula. The observation angle to the pendula was also not exactly measured. But looks, let's look at the video anyway. So I released the pendula. You'll see at seven seconds they come in sync. There it was. And then at 15.87 seconds, there that is. And we took a screen cap of that down here um, below. As a very minor side note, I would point out that the uh, geometry of the duct tape, um, and it was obviously it's incredibly inconsistent between front and back, uh, it would have created some minor element of air resistance. Um, compared to the angle of the release, though, it was so minor I, I shouldn't even mention it. Uh, the air analysis here is uh, the length of the pendula. We we had we had a we had difficulty in ensuring that the exact lengths uh, were uh, measured, and those those measured lengths are what ended up being uh, tested. Uh, angle accuracy is indicated here. Let's be let's be clear about that. This is the angle of release. Um, uh, it has nothing to do with the angles that we observed, um, or the angle at which we it was the angle at which we released all of them. Um, so. It, so again, angle of angle here means they all were released at the same angle at the same time, uh, not whether or not they were released at 70 degrees versus 20 degrees. Uh, given all that, we still have a error of 0.762. Compared to 30 per, uh, 30 error, that's not bad. Finally, we have our simple harmonic motion. Uh, portion. For this experiment, we taped uh, our pendula base to the top of a door and uh, let it swing freely. We then took that video and uh, brought it into Logger Pro, which, as you can see, created a lovely graph. Um, this video here show is the video that we used to create the graph. We were able to, um, just in one swing back and forth, create points throughout each frame of the video. Um, those points indicating what position the pendulum was at were then turned into data. That data was then um, sent through uh, Logger Pro to create this beautiful uh, sinusoidal curve. This is a sine curve, not a cosine curve. There, it's an important distinction in, well, in the software and in general. Um, as you can see, there is a correlation here of 0.9993. That's fantastic. Um, this there's a minor point at the at the very beginning of the graph that I had uh, held. I had started the video um, and started creating creating log uh, logged motion points uh, before it was actually released. So that's why that exists. And this next one that doesn't exist, <laughs> and um, we have very similar. Uh, video. This is going to be the same length at 20 degrees. We targeted the targeted just one one back and forth uh, point, and no, oh, I did it wrong. I want to bring that up again. <laughs> Yeah. And the best fit in this case was 0.9998. So that's a that's that's as good as it really gets. Um, so very happy about that. 
So anyway, this has been a really fun project, and uh, thank you so much.